right, good morning everyone. 10.23 Eastern Time, Monday morning, March 17th. And we're looking at, uh, I think, a short-term bounce in the U.S. markets, um, mostly just because there was some huge volatility last week. You know, the, the, the S&P 500 was working on 30 and 40 point ranges. The Dow had 400, 350 point ranges. So we're just working through a lot of volatility. What you're looking at here in the middle uh, is the S&P 500. This is a continuous contract. The key level is going to be these uh, lows over here from January, I believe. I've talked with some of my trading mentors about this. And um, if you look at these reversal bars, these uh, are a key indicator in judging supply and demand. In fact, if, if uh, we go over here, let's put on a square you can see that this yellow highlighted area is the support zone for the S&P 500. And you can see that the, the market pushed down here last week, um, or I, oh, sorry, week before last, uh, and then last week managed to push out of it very, very strongly. We had another reversal bar right there. Uh, they gapped it down today uh, considerably. Um, the, the market closed at 12 uh, 92 and then opened up actually down around 1260. Uh, I don't have the S&P 500 as a live contract on my eSignal platform. I have it on a live uh, basis on another platform. But you can see that the market gapped down another 30 points. This type of action is very, very common when the market is about to reverse simply because the professional money, what they like to do inside of a support zone like this is to let the marketplace build uh, stop orders. So they're going to be stop orders below these lows, below these lows. So they're going to come in, gap the market down into this area, trigger all of these stops, fill the stops down here. So in, in other words, you've got customers that are looking to sell right here. Okay, so if they gap the market down, these sell orders automatically become live. The professional money buys those orders down here. So, you know, they...